Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 20 Moving Platform Using Action Script. I'm starting a new FLA, selecting Action Script 3, keeping the rest of the default settings. This first layer I'm going to call Line 1, L I N E 1. And I'm going to draw a line here. Pick up my straight line tool, draw a line, highlight it, modify it, convert it to a symbol, make sure movie clip is selected, L-I-N-E line, underscore MC, I'm going to copy that. Now before you leave this panel, make sure the registration, this little black is in the center, not here. Let's see that. Click it. Make sure the registration is in the center because we're going to write script on it and we're going to be referring to that point. And I'm going to paste it up here as an instance name, but I'm going to add a one in here to make it line one. Um, going to unlock this chain here, this link. I want to make the width to be 80 and leave the height at 1 pixel. I'm going to lock that layer, insert a layer, call it Action Script AS, select frame 1, and type in this code. Type, 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 type. Uh, we're making a variable. I'm calling it speed h, as in the horizontal speed. That would be the speed that this line moves across the, str the screen, this platform. So var var turns purple. Speed, capital S H, capital H. Colon number, number will turn blue, equals to semicolon. So it's going to go two pixels each time it goes to this frame and we're operating at 24 frames per second. We're going to insert another line of code for a second here. Type, 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 type. It says line one underscore MC. That's that movie clip, the line, period. It's X position plus equals. That means incremented by, and in this case, this variable speed H. So we're incrementing it by two pixels. So right in here, speed h, colon. And if I ran this now, this line would move once, two pixels, and that's the end of it. So we're going to have to make, make this happen over and over again by adding what's called a listener. So go back to in between these two and type, 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 type this. It's an event listener. Stage, S-T-A-G-E, it turns blue, period, add event listener small a capital E capital L that all turns blue open bracket event capital E period enter underscore frame that is all capital letters that turns blue comma and I'm calling this this function enter each frame small e capital E capital F close bracket semicolon and here's the function itself f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n turns purple just copy that, enter each frame, paste it in here. Open bracket, E, colon, event. That's the same event that's up there, capital E. Close bracket, colon, void. Void is the same color as function. There's an open curly bracket for this function, so therefore, down here, we need a closed curly bracket. Now let's test it. And we'll see it just move across the screen if I have no errors. There it goes back to the main timeline. The request was to have this line move across the screen and then come back. So I'm going to unlock the lines layer for a minute and using my arrow key I'm just going to move it somewhere not close to one of the edges. And I'm going to go to 50% so I can get a better perspective and I'm going to put it up a little bit higher on my stage. Okay, so let's go back to the, I'm going to lock this line layer. Let's go back to the action script. And right here after this 
line MCX. I want you to type in this code. Type, 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 type. What we're going to do now is an if statement. And we're going to check to see when the line is, the, the stage is 550. My line is 80. So half of 80 is 40. So if I subtract 40 from 550, it gives me 510, which means my line should go right to here. So this says, if IF turns purple, open bracket, line 1 underscore MC, that's that movie clip, period x if its x is greater than or equal to 510 close bracket then here's the open curly bracket for this if there's the closed curly bracket for this if so that means there's two closed curly brackets here and in between these two that variable speed h equals speed 8 that's the asterisk the upper case of the number 8 minus 1 semicolon that just means make it a negative number so that the line will actually move back to the left. So let's see if this works. No errors. Here it goes. Now you can't tell here where it's hitting because so let's go back into the scene one. Make sure all the layers are locked. Let's add a layer and click on that layer. Make sure it's on the bottom. And we're just going to give some color to this. And let's call this background, BG. Pick up your rectangle tool. Doesn't matter as long as you don't have a white here, what you have for your stroke and fill. And make a box, approximate size of the stage. Now when we test it, we'll see it comes to that line. Test movie, test. And there's the end of the stage and it will come fairly fairly close to there and go back now we got to do something for it going back so let's open the actions panel again and between these two curly brackets put in a your cursor and type in this code type 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 and it says it's almost the same up here if open bracket line one underscore MC period X so it's, it's, it's almost identical to this is less than or equal to 40 so that means the line will be all the way over to the end again because it's AD wide and halfway there would be 40 close bracket so if that's true there's the open curly bracket for this if there's the closed curly bracket for this if we want to change the polarity of the direction so speed h equals speed h again times which is the asterisk minus one semicolon so you could copy this you could copy most of this and just make some changes now let's test this out goes all the way till it hits here or, or reasonably close and you can change that if you want if you don't want it to go all the way just give it the value you want and if you have some objects on your stage, you can either do it mathematically or trial and error. Okay, so now we want to do the same thing with a vertical line going up and down. So let's go back to the main timeline. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select this background layer. Insert a layer. Call this one line 2. Select frame 1 open your library and this same movie clip line drag this down on the stage down here open your uh, properties panel this time give it the instance name line2 underscore mc so we're using the same movie clip twice but we're using different instance names let's lock that layer open the actions panel and way up the top here let's declare another variable type 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 you could have copied this and pasted it in here the only difference is this was the horizontal speed now I want a vertical speed for that other line 
Now down here after all of this code in between these two curly brackets put a couple enters. We're going to now type similar code as this but this is for the for the vertical line. Type 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 type. Line two underscore MC period Y plus equals speed V semicolon. Same thing, it's going to increment by whatever speed V is. If open bracket line two underscore MC period Y is greater than or equal to three ninety nine. I don't want it it's this because we're jumping in increments of one pixel. I think this will actually bring us closer to hitting the bottom than putting 400, but you can play around with that. Close bracket. There's the open curly bracket for this if. There's the close curly bracket for this if. Just like above, speed v equals speed v asterisk, which is multiplied by minus 1, semicolon. And as I said, there's a close curly bracket. You can cut and paste. If, again, turns purple open bracket line 2 underscore MC period Y is less than or equal to minus 0 I think I had minus 1 in there at one time I don't know if there really is such thing as a minus 0 but there's the open curly bracket for this if there's the closed curly bracket for this if and again inside speed v equals speed v asterisk which is multiplied by minus one semicolon and there should be two curly brackets at the end no errors this drops down I think that might have went a little bit too far see but you can play around with that this almost makes it so that's why I think I should have like a minus one there or something but you can play around with that now notice this one's this one's 80 pixels long I think this is probably only about 50 but if you want you can change that and if you wanted to change that you would unlock this open your make sure you have it selected and open your properties panel and make sure that this chain is unlocked and let's make it 80 to make them look the same. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.